Hello guys, I'm here to give you a story on Kweku Eja Anahasi. Wow, what a man he is. A man through history who runs the African stories. A man who stories in Africa are being delighted to have. Children all over the world are enjoying his stories. And who is this man? I'll tell you a little bit about Kweku Eja Anahasi. Anansi is the main trickster character of Anakan folks. Akans are a group of many clans that live in Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire, West Africa. The Asante are the most famous Akan group because of the success of the Asante kingdom and trade with other groups. Variants of Anansi stories can be heard all over West and Central Africa. The slave trade spread those stories to Caribbean, America, and Europe. In three, the main Akan language Anansi simply means spider. That is why most of the time you see Anansi being depicted as a spider. His other name, Kweku, means when is they born. Anansi is very clever. He, he never plots to take over the world. He never plots to take over the world though. He's just too lazy for that. He would rather eat. That is Anansi. He is very social. When he chooses and very good at persuading people to do things for him. Even though he does not always choose to follow the rules, he knows them all. He also knows more stories, why things that anyone else can imagine. He is not so good at playing the dondo, a talking drum, but he is fantastic on the sepriwa, a bridge harp. In the folk tales, announce sometimes a, a spider, sometimes a man, sometimes he is a man with spider abilities, a man who turns into a spider when he is in trouble. Sometimes he's a spider who acts like a man. Some stories say that he was a man who slowly became a spider. Anansi everybody, Anansi is everybody and nobody. He's good, he's bad, he's foolish, he's wise, he's, he, he's mean, he's a hero. He can talk to anybody or anything including people, animals and spirits. He takes special delight in creating chaos and challenging Nyankopon, the supreme god. Confused? Yeah, I got you. That is the point. One thing to keep in mind, though it, it does not matter how he is acting or what his form is, Anansi is always a trickster. That is his same ultimate uh, trait. Yeah. So take a look at this Anansi story. Enjoy yourself. But before that, like this YouTube channel, subscribe to it to have more of these videos. I'm going to treat you to a, a, a master of enjoyment entertainment but do something for me take a look at this subscription hit on the comment box and have a surprise at the end of this video for you right just do it lazy ananzi a ghanaian folktale there was a spider called ananzi ananzi was too lazy to cook his own food Instead, he used to visit his friends and eat the delicious food they had cooked. One day, Anansi was passing Rabbit's house when he smelled green vegetables cooking. He was very excited. Rabbit said to Anansi, They are not quite ready yet. You can help me to wash up while we wait. Anansi replied, Sorry, I have things to do. I'll come back later. How will I call you when they are ready? asked the rabbit. Anansi thought for a minute. I'll spin a web, he said. I'll tie one end around my leg and one end to your pot. When the greens are ready, pull on the web string. I'll come right away. So Anansi tied the web to the pot and walked on. Anansi saw a monkey and his wife cooking beans in a large pot. Come and join us, the beans are nearly ready, monkey said. Anansi replied, Sorry, I have things to do. Let me tie one end of this web around my leg and one end to your pot. When the beans are ready, pull on the web string and I'll come. As Anansi walked by Warthog's house, he smelled sweet potatoes. Warthog told Anansi, My pot is full of sweet potatoes and honey. Come and share my food with me. Take this fork and help me steer it. Anansi replied, I'll come back later. Let me tie one end of this web around my leg and one end to your pot. When the sweet potatoes are ready, pull on the string and I'll come. 
By the time Anansi arrived at the river, each of his eight legs was tied to a pot of delicious food. Then Anansi felt a pull on one of his legs. Rabbit's food is ready, Anansi thought, licking his lips. He felt a second pull, and a third, and a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth pull. Everyone was pulling on the web string at the same time. Stop, stop, he cried in pain, as his legs were stretched thinner and thinner, but no one could hear him. Finally, the web strings could hold no longer. They snapped one by one. Anansi rolled into the river to soothe his painful legs. But his legs would not return to their normal shape. Anansi was too embarrassed to go to any of his friends that day. I hope you enjoyed this video of Kweku Eja Anansi, an account for tales. Sorry. Yes? I'm absolutely buzzing here. I'm having an entertainment, and an entertainment at its apex. Believe me, I absolutely enjoyed this video. I hope you too enjoyed it. I'm sure you also loved the video. And I want to know about some, maybe three or four things I would like to know after watching this video. Um, your moral lesson from the video. One, you can hit on the comment box saying that. Two, do you really love Anas as a person or a Spider-Man? Yes or no? Three, um, do you love this video? If yes, you state yes. If no, you state no. And you state your reason too. And then lastly, I have one surprise for you guys. And what is that surprise? I love a Jack Anas. I love his stories. Love you all. Enjoy yourself. But hit on the subscription button and like this video for more of this. I have more comments. Believe me, just hit on the subscription button. Thank you.